Alright, let's get this started. Lose the semis, game one. Big Z, <laughs> aka Morgan. I just noticed the text is completely off on that page. Oh, oh yeah, it I, absolutely I, is. I broke so much stuff. There we are, right. He heavy boys versus heavy boys. See, I literally just finished this matchup. Let's see what he learned. He won it, so. Yeah, apparently, he learned to F smash a neutral <laughs> to beat a Gordo. <laughs> He's keeping it fairly even so far. Yeah, they kind of just like just they scrap it. It's yeah, like the heavyweight, so they just hit each other a couple of times. And they're like, yeah, we're on 60, but you know who cares? Yeah. Early up, be there. Morgan, Morgan uh, smart to just sit there waiting. Guess wow. Yeah, really nice getting to two frame. Hell of a good F2 up there. Sure is. He has kind of learned to be patient with Bowser, which is a really good thing. Taking the opportunity to get damage where he can. Yeah, I mean, I mocked him for a couple of weeks of just his Bowser being bad, and it shouldn't have been bad, and I was, I was more annoyed at him for being for doing silly things. Oh, wow. Wow. That's got to be suspect DI. Yeah, he has died at 118 as Bowser. <laughs> Getting for these landing up airs. You've been watching the Twitter combos for Bowser. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's been, try been trying them all day, and it's... It's been varying with success. It's like it does it does combo. However, you're landing on someone's shield with up tilt or up air, sorry, and it's just like yeah. yeah if they shield that you're getting punished hundred percent. Speaking of shield, just getting the shield grab right now. Uh, Go Still Still going for the classic Gordo forward smash, which is you know, I think people are kinda catching on now. Yeah, it's good for like like scales knows to be patient, you kinda wait for his opening. Almost gets the snipe with the Gordo there. Yeah. Yeah, Norbert's doing a really good job of keeping keeping him allegedly. He's got to like scale them. He's getting out of it by jumping like that. That's, that's his go-to move at the minute. Just sits there, sits at ledge, waits for this jumping opportunity. Oh, he's going to be failing him once again at the, at the ledge trap situation. Now he's in disadvantage. But he managed to get out of it. Doesn't quite get anything off the nair though. But this I'd be not going to deal with. They're both heavy. Going deep, getting caught by Gordon on the way in, and that's a Gordo protecting it. Yeah, that's... Bad spot to be in. Yeah. See, this is more like a percent that Bowser should be living at. Yeah, yeah not the 118 up here kill, whatever that was about. Oh, Scare's being patient, waiting for his opening. Yep, just up be at shield. And that's the thing, Scale's trying to go off stage and pressure Morgan, but it's... Uh, he's got Gordo. Yeah, he's got the Gordo. Oh, yeah. I think he went for the side B. To punish, but just a spot dodge. Roll behind. That's a good roll there. That, that, that's, that cube is coming down first. Yeah. Looking like he knows. It. Oh, I was going to say he knows how to do it. Uh, suction pretty well there, but finally, the third one finally gets him. See, I was going to need to take the stock pretty soon before it gets out of hand. Yeah, just getting these conversions. Yeah, Dan has one of those moves that you watch like the high-level Bowser's play, and they just throw it out. Like all that? The time. <laughs> yeah, they just throw it out all the time. Like, how are you not getting punished for this? And then you know, Scales did his own rendition of it, and just the this first one didn't achieve much, but the second one still was that kill. You never expect the second. No. They're like, well, the first one didn't work. Why would he do another one? And getting his up airs now. Wait, he's going where to get did him. the 76% come from? <laughs> he got two up airs. But like, Orphan was winning a second ago. That's the thing in a heavy matchup, like you just hit each other and suddenly the leads change. Like that, that down air did like 18. It's Catches like, to yeah. jump. Scales has remembered that down air is a move and now he's just using it in all situations. Yeah. Oh, oh and the back air, that's gonna do it for sure, yeah. Wow. That is that, game that, one. That stock disappeared for the biggest of Zeds. Right, where did I put this text? Where even is, does this text live? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's oh. there. How did you move that? I have no idea. I think it's when I try to grab a webcam. You stick in the DDD. I also completely missed where they were going. Where are we going? Kalos, yeah. Yeah, so I was talking to Zach in Arsa, and he took, like, me to Kalos, and I, I was surprised that did he like Kalos, because I thought the platform would just mess up with their Gordo traps. Um, apparently, it just gives them more Gordo traps. Yeah, it gives them more Gordo traps, and 
I know Scales has been banning FD a lot just because it's yeah. not a good Bowser stage. Smashing down arrow. <laughs> that hit there. But already like Big Z like 90. Yeah, he kind of got stuck on that side platform and just ate a few others. That fair hitting so far behind him then. I yeah. know did EV start, but yeah, that like fair is just something else. Now Going high over the Gordos. Trying to get the back air. A shield grab, and now it's now it's even. See, this is the thing. Like, it, see. Uh, I see that. I see that's what Gordo like the, this stage yeah. does. Because you can like manipulate how Gordo bounces, it means you can have different setups. So if people try and jump to the platform, you can just react to it. Imagine to get away from the edge of the, sta the stages there. So living at 120. Seems like this just seems like a common theme. Like like they'll scrap. One of them goes to ledge, and then the, whoever goes to ledge just takes a bunch of damage. Yeah. Going for the down air. Zag got that on him in this set off stream, but I'm not sure if Scales is going to fall for it again. Just, Scales is just waiting. Yeah, I mean, it's working out for him. Like, Big Z's just sitting there chilling with his Gordos, and Scales is happy enough to just watch him. Yeah. Watch him play with his Gordo. There's no reason for him to approach it if he doesn't have to. But that back air. Yeah. Scales is going for his back air, but missing the timing, so just falling into the ground. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be Scales' go-to option. He's like, I've lost a stock, I'm down. I'm just going to run at them and fair. Yep. Just misses the timing of the fast fall back air. Yeah, he kind of read that air dodge there, right? We're reading the defense option, just not quite getting the, the next move and the, the string. But now all this damage is building up again. It's just one of them kind of getting stuck in the corner. Yeah, patient again, waiting for that air smash. Okay. I suppose I don't see, like... Jet, like Jet Hammer is a diddity move, right? It's one of those things that people yeah. don't use it, it's a noob trap and all that stuff. But then you see good diddities use it at, like, to ledge trap yeah. with, and it's actually so hard to deal with. Yeah, um, I uh, I was looking on Twitter uh, just before I came, and uh, Pelly, obviously, mm. uh, great, the best DDD in the UK by far, uh, put Jet Hammer as one of DDD's two best moves. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's the person I was referencing when I was talking about it being broken. I think yeah. it was um, a bit like a bear rig, a bear rig it came to. He just sat there and Jet Hammer ledge trapped all of the top Northern players. Like he just killed absolutely everyone in the bracket with charging Jet Hammer. No one could figure out an option for it. Yeah, yeah I don't see many other DDDs use it. Whereas, same Pele also put Force Smash as DDD's worst move, and that was strange. He, I yeah. guess he fast off too far. Scales going for that e easy fire breath damage <laughs> there, but not getting much out of it. <laughs> Bowser just jabbing Gordo just looked really dumb. There's like not many characters have just a jab you can counter Gordo with, but Bowser's kind of got a big jab, and it's a fairly easy now. Only 13% splitting the two up. Yeah, there's that option. Uh, Scales respawns and Inti chases after the person throwing out fares everywhere. Gets the fire breath this time. Doesn't get as much percent as he wa probably wanted, but. It falls out of the jab, but it wouldn't have mattered too much because of a real tough guy. It's the Nair up tilt and see if he can get any conversion. Yeah, that shield. A very tiny shield. Yeah. Smart. But now look, it's even. Because. I, it, it, I think, it, I don't, I'm, not looking, I'm looking at their movement, looking at the percentage. Oh, he didn't get hit too much. But yeah, yeah. he somehow took 80% from it. Yeah, it's just like to two hit conversion, just, just, just 30%. So. It, uh, Scales is fishing really hard for these falling up uh, nairs. So it's like we've mentioned his falling up air combo starters before. And there's falling nair combo, like, confirmed. They're kind of getting him hit, getting him punished for a lot of them. Doesn't get his own nair up air with DDD. Usually it's nair up air or nair back air you're looking for with DDD. Or is it a back air the better move because it is the stronger of the two. Just trying to space these back airs and. Pressure nice with spacing. Gordo in the corner. It's nice spacing because Scouts is just stuck there. Like, watch it. He can't yeah. get out of this trap. It's like the spacing on that, those back airs. I mean, he can go forward or he get it. Ooh, I thought a back air was coming. I thought a back air was the Gordo, as well. The Gordo takes a percent. One yeah. more good Gordo like that, and that's uh, it. Fish, yeah, he's fishing for this back air. Yeah, Scales, Scales had that read there. He was like, I'm going up and over the Gordo because it's obviously coming. But he just misses the punish. Ooh. It's not going to. They're killing yet. He's going for it. 
I think if you just went for the fair on the first jump, it probably would have connected. It's yeah. Massive, but... oh. And then up tilt, that's going to do it. Just. That's 1 1 now. I presume Battlefield is banned for obvious reasons. Yeah, I'm discussing DSR and I'm trying to figure out where Luke first won on. Was it Stadium? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I think he won on Stadium. Obviously Morgan can still choose yeah. to go Stadium as he's doing now. Yeah. Oh, because yeah, because he could go Stadium, but yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, he was in the lead for the most of game one. Yeah, he and just then that last stop just snowballed away from him. Yeah, so I think it, this is fine. Yeah, it, it wasn't the stage's fault that he lost game one. It was that kind of overcommitment to the ledge trap that he chose and just the falling back air. Yep. Kind of robbed him of the game. So let's see, game three. Winner goes on to play Honeo. See them just slap each other about and get to 100% in 10 seconds. Yep. The double hit taking 29%. See, got, yeah. see, this is the thing, like, because he's just kind of like, he's he's throwing out Gordo, but he's also approaching the pressure as well to make it so that Scales has to do something. Yeah, and Scales kept, kept choosing jump, but kept, kept getting hit by that Gordo that was already in place. It wasn't a surprise Gordo, it, wasn't, it was just bouncing there anyway. And just how he was trying to approach, took him out of the air well, three times in a row, and he took, what, 40% for it? Yeah. Wow. That's a very, that shield was, he was like, gonna guarantee get shield poked in that situation, so that, that up the option, saved him from a lot of pain. Yeah. <laughs> the back air spam. Wow. So okay. he's, he's, I don't even think he was, I think he was like still mashing from the up B he was yeah. doing. Yeah. I just kind of got a side B out yeah. of it. That no. back air, just, now, I, I, now it's even. Yeah. I, I do like it when, when characters have that option to like, fair through. I let like someone getting up and then bear back onto stage. Yeah, it's, it's just because it gives you so many options. Just to kind of keep people at ledge. Let's just get up attack, just keep it simple. Uh, two of them obviously really pay playing safe, both knowing that one good hit will really end it. Yeah, he's patient to scare, but getting caught out by the tip of the border there. Getting caught out again, and now he's on ledge. Getting caught out again. Yeah, I mean, at this point... Oh, he's, this, he's going for it. Maybe he could hear us on comms. Oh. <laughs> oh, he messed up the recovery. Uh, yeah, because like, earlier he was talking about... <laughs> like, he respawns. I mean, it was fair the last weekend. Respawns, runs up, does an aerial. Yeah, you can't just jab with... You can't go for those rapid jabs. Just could have tough guy. got parry, got hit anyway, and tough guy threw it to 0.6%. But yeah, earlier Scales was talking about how he's been practicing his pivot cancel tilts. But in this matchup, he just hasn't had the chance to do it because there's always a Gordo bouncing in front of him. So if you pivot, you're sliding towards Morgan at this point. He's just going to take a Gordo to the face. So it's like his prize new tech. Oh, I think if he went like if he went for the attack get up there, uh, Morgan kind of missed space and got got in yeah. range of Bowser's get up. Nice like up edge to poke through the stage, but gets the back a really early kill. The scales is just not falling for these. Uh, vacuum. Yeah. What's the, what's the official name of it? It's a, the DDD name. Suction, uh, vacuum, I, I I think it's suction. Big mouth suck. Yeah, like in the throughout the entire set, Morgan's been going for the, these kind of mix-up with the vacuum, uh, the vacuum landing. And Scales is just smart enough to know which options he can use to get away from it. That was... I can't tell if that was greedy or a miss but... I think... I think it was greed. It was. I mean, he, he was definitely expecting something, whether it was an air dodge or a different there. I think if you do a certain there, like they don't actually get popped up. Yeah. Or maybe he was just expecting like the panic air dodge down, but it's a very. So now he's going for these jet hammers. Uh, goes, he, de he definitely heard us sometimes. That's like he went from not using jet hammer at all to using it twice in one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice catches the jump. Just situation like 86 percent, 100 percent. It looks like a good lead, but. As we've seen in the other games. Yeah, it's like... Heavy v heavy. Two, two neutral interaction wins and it's basically even. I mean, the rest of the set we've seen, like... Uh, Fixie's managed to rack up a lot of percent just with Gordo in neutral. 
and just kind of sit in there and let it happen. And it's happening once again. It's two Gordos, 40%, forces scales into the air. Catches Vixie at the ledge, and yeah, yeah that's going to do it. Three in a row. That'll do it. Well played with scales there. Noticing that abusing that fair hitbox where he's like, okay, I'm jumping over, I kept getting hit by Gordo, but this time I'm going to position it, get over Gordo, start my fair early, hit him yep. with the bottom, and then just the, the distance of the fair hits above Bowser as well is kind of surprising, takes people by 